So, what's up? So, tonight, we are on season two of The Hundred. Woo, woo, woo. I know it's only the second season, but, you know, we were able to go through all 16 episodes of The Hundred. So, let's start it off. So, season two literally just picks up where the ending of the first season left off with Clark waking up in a white room, seeing Monty, and she sees someone in a hazmat suit take Monty away. So Clark obviously does what and she tries to question it, but the person won't listen. So, so obviously, Clark does any what a reasonable person would do in this situation. She breaks out of her room and goes to see that, you know, that there's like a bunch of people here, but the people are like, contaminated. So they're like, oh, yeah, we would have, if you let just let us explain, you would have been able to get your fine. So, yeah. So Clark meets up with Jasper and Monty, and they're like, and she's like, hey, where's Bellamy and Finn? And they're like, they didn't make it. But how would they know that? They were just knocked out. How would they know that they're not dead or not? How can you just say, how can you just say, oh, yeah, they're, they didn't make it? When they don't even know if they didn't make it or not. So yeah, so then we cut to cut to Bellamy and Bellamy and Finn, and they're alive. They literally explain that they just made it, were able to jump in the, they won't make it so far from the vicinity of the blast that they just got out of there. Meanwhile, back with Jaha's group, they're able to land down to Earth. And meanwhile, they decide that they're taking control of the show now. Literally. Murphy and John get into a fight, and they're just Murphy. Murphy and, wait, no, why did I say Murphy and John? He's literally the bastard's name. Murphy and Bellamy get into a fight until Kane's here. He doesn't break it up, and he's like, and they arrest Bellamy because, yeah, don't arrest John for some reason because they're like, yeah, we're in charge now. So, they, so yeah, so they look at Raven and, you know, Raven's, yeah, Raven's whole thing is, that, yeah, Raven's thing is still up to her spine. Yeah, meanwhile, back when, as we learned, Mount Weather, because, yeah, they made it to the place, they they were they were gassed out and taken to the place that they were actually trying to get to back in the first season. Oh, yeah, wow. Tessa Clark doesn't trust these people. So she, tr so even, even, yeah, even though Jasper's looking at this one girl and he's got his 40 stare on lock, he's... He's really into her, but Clark's like, yeah, we don't, we can't trust these people. They don't even, they don't even know, they're not even telling us anything about our friends. So Clark, but Jasper's like, look around Clark, there's real people, we got real food. We finally, we finally made to, we finally gotten what we've always wanted. We're not, we're not on the ground. Yeah, so meanwhile, so yeah, we also got Octavia and Lincoln, and you know, Lincoln took Octavia away at the end of last season, and you know, thanks to Bellamy, you know. She's just, you know, with him. Injured. But she's just with him. We'll get more into Octavia's character this season. A little bit later. Because she has, because she goes through major change in season two. But now, we'll just talk about, you know, Clark de decides to escape. Because she doesn't trust it. And that's where she finds Anya. And she first she finds that there's a bunch of grounders getting their blood drained. And Anya is caged up. So, Clark decides to break Anya out, and they decide, you know, but, you know, leader of the grounders, and they decide, you know, break out. But Jasper, but Monty, Ma Maya basically lies to Jasper, and, and Monty basically going, like, oh, yeah, she had a mental breakdown, is in the psych ward, and Monty goes to check this out, but he, we literally never see what he discovers, that we just never brought, bring it up again, you know? They never say, oh yeah, he went there and didn't see Clark in there. But Mon but Jasper just doesn't want to believe that, doesn't want to believe that Clark, doesn't want to believe that Clark's out. He's just, he's just so in love with this girl that he wants to believe everything she said. But Monty's kind of saying, isn't it suspicious that Clark told us not to trust these people and now she's, for some reason, not even around. But he's like, yeah, who cares about Clark thing? I'm too busy looking, I'm too busy having my heart, and my heart for this Maya chick. Yeah, typical stuff here. 
typical stuff here. So yeah, so basically back with back with Finn and Ma Bellamy. Finn and Bellamy think that Clark was taken in taken by the Rounders for some reason because when they go back to the play when they go back to the to the dropship they don't find her so so they're like oh yeah she must be taking my grounders so that's kind of their mission for this first half is to find Clark when she's not even half far away from them so back with Anya Anya and Clark are going with Anya just wants to see her people while well, Clark wants to see hers so Anya tries to like take Clark to them but Clark knocks her out they get they can get into a fight but as they get to the to Camp Jaha, the grounder patrol shoots Anya. So Clark, so Clark, and they arrest Clark because she's wearing grounder makeup until Abby realizes that that's her daughter. So they have more and more. So she reunites with Bellamy, and yeah, there's this whole thing of Bellamy and Bellamy and his crew finding this guy Sterling's girlfriend and her friend, and he literally dies trying to save her, and she is just. In one episode, they bring her back and she's literally never mentioned again. So, I don't know if she left or, I don't know if she left. But they never bring her up again. So, Finn wants to, Finn and Monty, Finn, Finn and Monty, Finn and Bellamy find this guy who's a grounder who has Clark's watch, for has Clark's things. So, they are like, oh yeah, the grounders did take Clark. So Finn shoots the guy when they're like, yeah, when Murphy wants to shoot him, but Bellamy's like, no, we can't. But Finn just point blank does it anyway, showing that Finn is kind of going through a dark phase right now. So yeah, so when they, so when Sterling dies and they find the girl, he allow, he decides to allow Finn and Bellamy to like, to allow Bellamy, Finn and Murph John to go on their own. Meanwhile, Clark is back at the camp and back at Camp Jaha, and that's where they, yeah, because they think Jaha's dead. Mean, but not, but yeah, that's where we get to the Jaha stuff. So, meanwhile, with Jaha, he's still in space when he hears the voice of this crying baby. But, so he decides to save the baby and tries to get back to Earth. But it's revealed that the baby wasn't real and it only his imagination because then his dead son shows up and is like, hey, dad, I, I, I'm here to help you get to Earth, so he does, but he lands in the desert. Where he meets this boy named Zaron, played by Mike from Stranger Things, and <coughs> yeah, weird. Mike from Stranger Things is in the show, and his mom and he and the son has a weird look for me that's like a really creepy. It freaked me out, and yeah. So, but then, but then, yeah, they're grounders, but they live. In a desert, but then some bad guys show up, so they tell Jaha to leave, telling him to find the city of lights for them, and then we're like, never brought up again. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ow, my eyes. Why is it every time I this review, every time this review, yeah, my eyes get all watery? Wait a minute, I mean, this is that. So, Clark, so Clark shows up hugging about me, and they're like, Where's Finn? And he's like, uh, Looking for you. So, so they decide to. So they decide to look for him. They, they find, uh, they find, uh, what is it called? They find, like, a grinder's camp where, you know, they try to question them where Clark is. But they're like, yeah, we haven't seen your friend until they, fi until they see what they think is one of Clark's items. So, Bellamy, so, you know, Finn's like, Again, really? You will not stay up, will you, Stan? Sign. You follow in every single video I make. What is wrong with you? So anyway. But anyway, sorry from that. Every video. What is wrong with it? I really need to get more tape so we can stick something. So anyway. Anyway, what happens is, is that yeah, there's this guy who's a friend of Lincoln. Who's a friend of Lincoln? Who Octavia befriended? And I fell too before I could save it. <laughs> but anyway, I'll pick this up later. But anyway, what happens is, is that what happens is, is that is that you know there's this, that that one guy one guy tries to leave, Finn shoots him, and then it turns into 
one grounded being shot, two grounded being shot, to all the grounded being shot dead, as Clark sees. Yeah, Ben basically murders all the grounders, except for that Octavia, except for Octavia's friend. Lincoln's friend, he's alive. But, sorry all the grounders, and Clark kind of all disturbed about this, and he even says, I found you. So meanwhile, back with Raven, she's literally now has to get surgery to, you know, fix her spine. And now she only has one leg, which she literally complains about for an episode until she's back to walking again because the show completely lost all hope of the soul Raven storyline. So they literally just had her complain about her leg and then immediately be able to walk like it's nothing. Wow, show. I thought and I thought Grace's thing on fear was bad. This 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 is this takes the cake as one of the most disregardable moments in the entire show. They really have her complain about the leg only for her to be walking. So yeah. So yeah, so Clark kinda of got talking to Bellamy because not talking to Finn because she kinda of still freaked out as a whole him trying to kill Grinder's thing, but he's like, you haven't looked at me since that day. And she's like, and she's like, you kind of gone dark, bro. So meanwhile, Kane, 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 <coughs> not in my nose. Sometimes it gets like that, but Kane's just walking. When what happens is, is that he, that he's captured and he lands in this cave and, and, and he runs into Jaha. But the ground is throwing another girl. It's Alicia. But she's not Alicia in the show. It's literally just Alicia's actress. But she reveals that she's the commander. She's the leader of the grounder. So and she and she wants Finn's body because he killed her men, so she wants him dead. She, yeah, they want to make Clark is like, hey, let's make a peace between the humans and the grounders. But she's like, yeah. This deal won't work unless Finn, unless Finn is killed. But, but they're like, yeah, there is no way we're hearing them. Yeah, they even, they even give them that king, which I thought was a way for being like, hey, we'll give you your men if you, if you give us ours. So, but that never happens. So meanwhile, at Mount Weather, again, again, what's happening is that Jasper has the hots for Maya and he won't even... But when Maya gets sick with radiation, he decides to denote, de donate his blood to her to save her life. Which basically mean, which makes her change her mind and now she's one of the main characters. So now she's one of the, so now she's a redeemable hero. Meanwhile, the president of the, the president at Mount Weather is kind of evil, but he's not evil right now. Well, his son and the doctor are evil. Yeah. Because basically, they want to get to the ground, but the only way to get to the ground is to steal people's bone marrow. Yes, they're literally doing this plot where the bad guys want to steal the character's bone, bo bone marrow so they can have enough power to get to Earth. Yes, as I just said, that is a real plot for the villains of this season. Their whole plot is for them to take people's bone marrow so they can get to Earth. Wow, I just don't know what to say. The Grounders' plan was just to attack the humans, but their plan is to take bone marrow just to get to Earth to see if it's... Yeah, anyway. Anyway, we'll talk about that old them trying to take your bone marrow plot later. Because it's really a major plot. But anyway, yeah, so Clark... Clark so yeah, so Clark meets with Lexa. Not Alicia, her name is Lexa. And she's... Uh, Alicia plays Alexa, and she's yeah you know, the and her and her and her top per and her second is Indira, is Indira, the person who who Alicia met. So yeah, so meanwhile, they they so yeah, so Lincoln gets captured by the by the Mount Weather people is injected with blood, and he's like ooh the first ones and he's like ooh. The first one, the first dose, that one hurts. So then Lincoln decides to take another dose of the blood. So Lincoln kind of becomes a reaper. 
Yeah, that's the whole thing. They're draining Grunner's blood so the Grunners can become Reapers. So now Lincoln turns into a zombie for an episode until they ca until Octavia finds him and they capture him and that and then and then she's like so yeah so she's like we can bring Lincoln back to life so she's like yeah yeah also this episode yeah there's that episode where Abby gets whipped with an electric baton but anyway. When she let when when she wasn't supposed to let the man Bellamy go, go out there. But that's a weird episode. But anyway, what happens is is that well, that's a weird episode. But what happens is is that is that yeah. First they see when they discover Lincoln dead, they want to kill them. But then Clark just uses some an, the the baton weapon that restarts Lincoln's heart, bringing him back to life. And he's randomly just normal again. Yeah, there's this whole thing in this season where Lick can now become addicted to the Reaper blood. Yep, that's that's his story for the season. He becomes a he becomes a drug addict, but become but instead of becoming a drug addict, he becomes a a, re, a, a blood addict. Addict. That's his whole story arc for the second half. So yeah, so back with all Finn stuff. They want Finn dead to start. So. They want Finn dead with the truth between the Reapers and the ground and the Sky People, which that's what the Grounders, the Grounders, the truth and the Grounders and the Sky People won't happen. So they have to kill, but they won't let that happen. But then when that happens, Clark decides to instead of letting him them kill him, she'll kill them. But so she kills Finn, R.I.P. Finn. Raven's obviously mad at this, basically be like, basically mad at Clark, you know, like how could you kill your kill my lover and your and the guy that was in love with you. So Raven's kinda of mad at Clark for an episode. She can kinda of mad at Clark for an episode. Until and yeah, but then there's this episode where 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 they're at the celebration and someone poison poisoned Augustus. But they reveal that he poisoned he took he filled the water with he poisoned the water. He poisoned the the guy, so so someone would blame one of this guy, one of Clark's people, then then the then then the then the lines would break, and in one of the worst tropes ever, Clark sees Finn's ghost and haunts her through the entire episode until Finn's ghost tells her what is the problem as they're about to kill Raven, so they kill Augustus. See. One of the worst plots ever. So meanwhile, Jaha gets brought back into the group and he literally does nothing but, but basically, he, he's basically now the, oh God, you shouldn't be doing this. We need a better thing character and it's so annoying. So they are like saying, hey, get him out of the show. Put Not get him out of the show, but get him out of the scene. Put him in the, in the, in the holdings, because he's kind of get, gets annoying. Where he's like, "Guys, there's a better solution than this." When you know the solution they're thinking is the right solution, he's like, "No, guys, there's a better solution than this." When literally there's not, and he's literally just that. So yeah, his whole story gets better later. But so back in Mount Weather, the bad guys, the the sun decides. So yeah. They're doing bone marrow on a girl, one of their friends, but, but yeah, but Monty's like, yo, dude, they're doing, they're only like doing bad stuff, so he's like, yeah, guys, we are shutting down the bone marrow treatment, but then the son's like, yo, dad, I'm, I'm, I'm throwing you back from the company, I'm the new, uh, the son's the new president, so he's like, guys, continue with the bone marrow, the bone marrow operation. Crap with my daddy, I'd say. I'm the new boss, so I get to tell you to continue with our operations because we're the villains. So he can, so they continue with the operation, killing rando by rando. But they know about this, so they send Bellamy in to basically, Bellamy in to basically be like, "Hey, I'm I'm in this show, but yeah, stop the bone, stop the bad guy's plan." But what happens is, is that. They send a missile. Clark knows about this, so 
she decides to, to only tell her mom, which gets her mom mad at her and be like, you knew about the bomb. You knew about the missile. Basically killing our friends, which are... Uh, it kills some of the people, but not all of them. And and she's like, I'll keep her secret. And then and then when Octavia finds out, she's mad at her because she's like, oh yeah, you did... You, 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 just, you hurt all those people. And she's like, they need to protect Bellamy. And she's like, Bellamy, Bellamy can protect himself. So then... So then... Uh, Lexa wants to kill Octavia because she thinks she's a high risk cat group and Clark's like, yo, lady, there is no way I'm, I'm letting you kill her. But then Clark and Alexa, Clark and Alexa kiss each other because this is a CW show and they have to have some romantic implications. But Clark's like, yo, I'm not ready for a gay relationship right now. Peace. So, or a lesbian relationship right now. Let's be friends. So, yeah, so Bell, so, so yeah, so they're basically asking off all the, all the random characters until they get, until Jasper, until Bellamy's like, yeah, hey, Jasper, use this to kill one of the guards. <clears throat> yeah, they get a guy named Emerson to basically, they capture a guy named Emerson and let him leave, basically letting him die, but then, but then the son's like, yo, dude. Join me on my villain team. And he's like, yo, do we all join you on your villain team? So they join up together. So, yeah. 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 Meanwhile, with Jaha again, he decides to leave the group to take Murphy and a bunch of John and Murphy and some other guy to find the City of Light. And that lasts, like, till the finale, but still. Hmm. I last told the finale, but still, but still, but still, yeah. So, <clears throat> so anyway, we're getting down to the wire on the show, and the bad guys are still trying to take people with bone marrow, which reminds me of the whole Riverdale organ thing, and that literally grossed me out. Literally made Riverdale season three suck. That whole storyline. The season, the, the season's good, but I'm just saying, the whole Riverdale season three seems to suck. Hopefully, there's not fans in this, in this, on YouTube that will actually like Riverdale season three because it sucked. So anyway, so anyway, what happens is, is that is that they decide to you know Bellamy decides to go and turn up the acid fog. Raven and Raven and Wick get together, but she chooses not to. Her leg is immediately better. Yes, her leg is immediately fine. I told you she was walking in a couple of days, guys. My dad said that, but I'm gonna take it because literally she's like great. Where you, where she says she's fine, she complains about her injury, and then immediately after that, she's fine. So yeah, so so yeah. Yeah. Also, Octavia is now one of the grounders because she literally tr got trained by the grounders, so she becomes official grounder material. Lincoln Lincoln goes back on the on the blood, but he doesn't become Reaper again for some odd reason. They just find him and he all fine. I guess since I guess since he took that second dose, he was a Reaper, but one dose is just him being normal. I don't know. I don't, I don't. I I don't. I don't know. I don't know anymore. So anyway, yeah. No, I don't know. Yeah. So it just happens is is that Clark. So they decided to go. In and you know Octavia is still mad at Clark. Lexa reveals that she kind of, you know, Lexa reveals her thing, and, you know, you know, so, so they get, so they get in, and, you know, they find Maya's dad, who's kind of, you know, like, you guys need to get out, but she's like, they're the heroes, sir, her dad, I don't like her dad, sir, come on, it's her dad, don't know why, don't know why I call her dad, sir, But don't mind that. Well, please don't mind that. Do not mind that. 
not mine, Zach. Not mind that. The whole thing is that I called for dad, sir. When I meant to call him, what's, when I meant to call him his, when I meant to call him her dad. Um, yeah. I meant to call him her dad, but I call him sir. So, they decided to go and fight. Fight things. But, but, they decided to go and fight. But Lexa, Lexa reveals that she made a deal with the ground, to basically make a deal. That, the, that only the grinders will be spared, and that the dad, and that, that basically Bellamy and his friends can literally die for all she cares. And she's like, retreat. But Endure's like, why is she letting her, why is she seeing retreat? And she's like, she's like, come on, Octavia, let's go. But Octavia's like, no, I gotta stay here for my brother. And she's like, well, then you are no tree person. <laughs> you can die too. So, yeah, they'll probably be friends again in season three if I think about it. So, yeah. They, do they go and fight or something? And, you know, they're like, it's over. But Clark's like, it's not over. So, in the finale, what happens is, is that we get a shot of, we get a shot of Jaha and his team on a boat. Because they did, they did make it to, they didn't make it out of the desert. They met this girl who betrayed them and then. And one of their friends died, so then more of their friends died, including Chad Charman from The Senate. Yep, he was on this show, and he literally gets killed off in this episode, so it's now, so it's now Jahan and Murphy. But then J Murphy gets bit, so Jahan decides to follow the drone somewhere, while Murphy just walks away somewhere else. But he finds his house, where, where he finds his house, but he finds this guy basically saying how he started off the nukes at the end of the world. And he kills himself, so. Wow, show. You show a, con a confession of a guy dying. Wow. So anyway, what happens, what happens is, is that, what happens is, what happens is, is, what happens is, is that the go is that Clark decides to team up with Maya because she's heard about how, how she and Jasper are dating or something. Well, 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 well Abby and the rest of the crew were captured, but Raven gets her bone marrow digged out. Well, Abby's next, but Clark decides to basically really decides to, you know, release all the radiation, <sighs> killing Maya. Yeah, Jasper's not, Jasper's not going to be happy about that. And killing everyone in the, killing everyone in the Mount Weather. But Clark killed the father, the former president earlier, but the son's able to escape before he's dosed before before Link cuts off his hand and doses him with with the red red blood, killing him. Bye evil son villain. They killed the doctor earlier with some radiation prior. Forgot to mention it. So so, so, Bomi, so the doctor's already dead, so they killed it off with rage prior and and they even, they even killed the Lovejoy kid of the general that Bellamy killed, who Bellamy strangled. So, yeah, so when my, so when, yeah, so obviously, when Jasper finds out that Clark did it, he's obviously like, why did you do it? He's like, and she, like, it was my only way. He's like, she was an innocent person, and she's like, mom. He's like, Monty, why'd you do it? And he's like, because, because I'm, I had to, I'm sorry. And he's like, you're sorry? <laughs> you're sorry? <laughs> yeah, Jasper is not going to be in a good place when we get to season three. I count on it. So, yeah, so Clark decides, so they get back to the camp where they want to save. Clark decides to leave the group because she can't, doesn't want to be reminded of what she had to do at Mount Weather. So she decides to leave. Meanwhile, back with Jaha, he is he is he finds this random house with his big with his big mansion. I would say big ass mansion, but big mansion. And he decides to and he decides to find this hologram played by Erica Durant. Yep, Lois from Smallville, and that girl from Saving Hope, and 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 Aurora Carr's mom from Supergirl. Yes, Erica Durant has done a lot. And she basically reveals that she has the original nuke that I think destroyed the world. 
and she wants Jahan to join her. And that's kind of where season two ends. Wow. This season had a lot of good moments. Yeah, Maya was, a, I gotta agree, Maya was a good character that, because she was a good, such an interesting character that we were following Emily and we'll have to see the repercussions of her death. And how will it take on Devin, Devin and Boss makes Jasper in season three? And yeah, and Ray, and yeah, Abby got her bone marrow taken out, but she was able to live. Raven got her bone marrow taken out, and she was able to live. But I guess they killed the guy prior. So yeah, so that was season two of the hundred. <laughs> it's okay. Just there's a lot of moments like you know the bone marrow scenes remind me of the organ taking from Riverdale and that kind of downgrade. That the new show has to remind me of one of my least favorite scenes of Riverdale. You know you got it wrong. You know you got it well wrong. When you remind you of one of these first seasons, Riverdale. But this season was already fine. It wasn't the best season. It wasn't any great, like, it wasn't any great season one. But it wasn't terrible. It was okay. Like, you know, Anya's death was kind of interesting. Learning that Lexa was trained by Anya was also interesting. And Finn's death was very handled. Raven obviously would be mad at Clark. I know that she literally forgave her for saving her for saving her life because forgiving her for how she was gonna be killed by them and proving that Augustus was was the one that did it by killing him and saving Raven's life mended her relationship with Raven. But yeah, Octavia's still gonna be at Clark for you know save for killing her for knowing about the missile and not doing anything about it. Yeah. Even in season two, it's ending. Octavia still doesn't doesn't like Clark. So, hopefully, in season three, she'll go back to like her. But for but for season end of season two, yeah, it just doesn't have like it just doesn't have like a great suspenseful ending like the end of season one did with Clark and that white and Clark and Mount Weather. Like this just says, oh yeah, they just have the nuke. That they probably have the nuke that destroyed the world. So she's the one that destroyed the world 97 years ago, probably. Yeah, she did. She may be an artificial intelligence, but she, an AI, but she did it. So yeah, that's, 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 that's that. That's just, boom, that's just season two. Wasn't the best season, wasn't the worst season. Hopefully season three is way better because I kind of like season two. But the Mount Weather stuff was interesting, but yeah, it's kind of funny that they were trying to get through season one, they were trying to get Mount Weather all through season one, only to find out in season two that it's really a bad place, and they, sh it's kind of funny that they literally, they literally decided to end the whole season one thing with season two, but the whole, they were trying to get, they were trying to get to Mount Weather back in the first season, only to find out in the second season that it's literally the worst place imaginable. It's literally Terminus from The Walking Dead, but they didn't leave it a smoking ruin. And I kind of like Alexa's whole thing about her betraying Clark. It's kind of like Jada's from Fear from The Walking Dead, how, from The Walking Dead, how she betrayed Rick twice. How she betrayed Rick and Negan. It's kind of like that. Her betraying Clark for, to save her grounder people. Like she's like, "Hey Clark, you came here to save your people. Why well, do? Why well, I'm saving mine by by?" By doing this deal, and yeah, and and him revealing that he's the one that was in on the deal with Anya, so Clark shot him. Clark shot the dad, the president, the former president. That was also interesting. But anyway, that's it for this video, and we'll see you next time for season three of the Hundred.